Hey guys, it's the Budget Epicurean, and today I am making a Southwestern sweet potato bowl in the Instant Pot. Um, so Southwestern anything is typically some sort of Tex-Mex mixture, right? Um, beans, cheese, fajita veggies, maybe some kind of meat. Um, and I am going to be mixing sweet potatoes, uh, black and pinto beans, and some diced uh, peppers and onions in the Instant Pot with some ground beef and uh, some homemade hot sauce. Um, I also have a couple sad tomatoes, the last ones <laughs> of the season. Um, so I'm gonna throw those in too, just for some flavor. If you wanna add a can of diced tomatoes, you can totally do that as well. Um, so it's sort of gonna be chili-like, but not as um, liquidy, I guess, cause I'm not gonna be using the canned diced tomatoes and I drained my beans. Um, so it's, going to release some amount of liquid for sure um, but hopefully it won't be too uh, soupy or chilly like I'm looking for more of a just bowl where everything is nicely cooked and mixed together um, so this is gonna have sweet potato in it um, so I don't need any other carbohydrate to serve it with but if you want you can totally serve this over rice um, or just cook it all up and wrap it in a tortilla. Um, I'm probably just going to eat this by itself uh, in a bowl. Hence the name Southwestern Bowl. Um, of course, part of what makes it fun is the toppings, so go crazy there. I have some avocados I'm going to use, um, probably some plain Greek yogurt as sour cream, maybe a little shredded cheddar cheese, see how we're feeling today. So i um, just gonna chop up my sweet potato here into kind of bite-sized chunks and toss them in, easy peasy. And these sweet potatoes actually are from my garden. Um, so I pulled these out of the ground, dug them up uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, just give them a good rinse and here we are, so hyper local. I know they're organic, super delicious. I would highly recommend trying sweet potatoes if you've never grown them before. Um, you can also grow them in a pot so you don't need a yard and they are super easy to grow. You just get uh, some sweet potatoes from the store, preferably organic because sometimes um, non-organic produce is sprayed with chemicals to keep it from sprouting which, you know, if you're trying to keep vegetables in the store good or in transit good for a long time, makes sense. Um, but if it's sprayed to keep it from sprouting and you're trying to get it to sprout, you know, those goals don't exactly line up. So try to make sure you get a organic sweet potato to start with. And then about a month or so before you want to plant it, just stick it in some water. Um, you only need about an inch or two uh, with the pointy ends sticking up above the water. So that is where your little shoots will start to emerge from. And then after a week or two, it should start showing these little green buds coming up. And as long as you have at least one of those, if you plant it, you'll get some sweet potatoes. So I would highly recommend you give those a try. Um, plant them anywhere from March through July-ish, depending on where you live. Um, and it's really fun. It's really cool to watch the vines grow. Um, and did you know you can actually eat sweet potato leaves? They, uh, they cook up just like uh, any hearty greens. Tastes kind of like a mixture between collards and spinach. Um, you can just fry them up and add them to things. You can blanch them, freeze them, use them in place of spinach and recipes. So I'm just throwing my tomatoes in there. Um, gonna just kind of break up the ground beef and sprinkle it in because it's gonna cook with the pressure. You can brown it uh, beforehand if you want to, but you know, I like just having one dish to wash <laughs> after dinner, so. I'm a big fan of one pot everything in in the same thing meals, where the fewer dishes the better. So now 
The only dishes I should have is my Instant Pot and a cutting board and my knife. So I'm okay with that. And the ground beef is totally optional. You can also use shredded chicken or shrimp or fajita beef, beef um, or just no meat at all. It's packed with beans and that is plenty of protein. That's all you really need. Um, or you can, you know, roast up some tofu in the oven to put it on top. Maybe a little seitan with some Southwest spices. And then I have some uh, onions and bell peppers that when they were in season and on sale, 10 for 10, I got a bunch of every color and just diced them up, tossed them in my freezer so I could have them for times like today. So I'm just gonna do a good sprinkling, a um, couple of handfuls worth right there on top. And the pinto and black beans I actually cooked up in the instant pot earlier, um, just mixed together, covered it with water, put it on for 40 minutes. You can also totally use canned, um, just drain them and rinse. So there's my blackened pintos, all nicely distributed, and that's it. Um, don't really need to add any liquid to it because as it cooks, the instant pot will steam everything together. Some of the water um, and the veggies will come out because they were pre-frozen and the beans soaked up um, plenty of water as well. So don't even have to add anything. And this guy's being stubborn. He doesn't want to open. Ha. Um, so this is my homemade uh, Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Pretty strong stuff. So we're gonna just drizzle a little bit on there and it'll kind of all cook into everything and just give it a nice heat, a little extra kick of flavor, if you will. And like I said, if you like tomato flavor, you can add diced, canned diced tomatoes here or um, diced fresh tomatoes, a little bit of salsa, whatever kind of flavors you like. If you like it extra hot, then go crazy. Add some Tabasco, chopped up jalapenos or serranos. The world is your oyster, my friend. And that is it for the pot. So I'm gonna close it up. Make sure the steam release is closed. And let's see. We'll go 15 minutes. Should be plenty to cook the potato and the meat. Um, so we'll just let this guy cook. It'll take a few minutes to get up to pressure. 15 minutes of cooking, and then when it beeps, dinner's ready. Easy peasy.